first time you saw a disorder of consciousness patient? I can, yes, yeah, I definitely do, because I thought by that point I was quite experienced in neuro rehab, I really enjoyed my work, it's great, you know, you're part of a team, you set goals that the patient sets with you, they're very involved in setting their own goals, as the occupational therapist, I was working in the kitchen or the community or on, you know, on patient-centred goals, and I remember the first time as timetable to go along and, and see someone in prolonged disorder of consciousness and I just remember thinking what am I meant to do what's my role I'm an occupational therapist I help maximize people's level of independence that's what an OT is and I remember just thinking wow I've, I'm right back to being a newbie I'm here in a senior post and I'm right back at the starting blocks where do I start, you know, and I remember, yeah, feeling quite um, taken aback by that, you know, just like, okay, this is, this is different. I, where do I get my information from, you know, the patient isn't able to give me their history, they're not able to tell me what their goals are, I'm not able to work on activities of daily living so as an occupational therapist what is my role and it was quite daunting you know and I really remember that sense of, of being new again and just having a lot to learn um, and that was really quite intimidating.